There was a big report that came out on underproduction of homes uh, across the United States. And, of course, New Mexico is part of the United States. I know a lot of people in other parts of the U.S. don't know that. But, yes, New Mexico is part of the United States. Well, okay, that was just a little joke. We've talked about this quite a bit, honestly, haven't we? You yeah. Know, underproduction. Yeah. We could have written that story or our listeners could have written that story. Well, and let's just hit on it. The reason I brought it up and I put it as a, as a topic this week is because there's a big – um, release from an organization that is kind of like a think tank that's dealing with housing issues, and, and they're called um, Up for Growth. And it's a lot of different uh, organizations involved in this, and they're just looking at the housing affordability issues, and you could say crisis, although I don't like using that word, but housing affordability has is, is definitely been a big um topic of discussion and so what they're saying is yes we've been underbuilding in the United States for many many years and they're they're estimating 3.8 million homes short and I think it's actually increased since since this uh, well this did just come out but they're talking about 2019 but you know we're in 2022 now and Anyway, the, we know the, the builders haven't caught up for sure. Y- everywhere, right? And so, and what, and in, in and in one of the things that's a, a concern right now, as we sit here in July of 2022, is the builders are not going too fast at building. They're they're taking their time. They're not going to overbuild, and so there is concern that they're the, being the, careful. The shortages are going to continue. So that that's the short on that story.